Okay, welcome to I Square Maths Academy. We are numbers make mastery. Now, still looking at the product rule. Now, there's a question before us that given that y is equal to the sine inverse of x times ln 2x square, and we should get the value of the y all over the x. Now, remember in our first uh, example, we said if y is equal to u v that the y all over the x is equal to v, the u all over the x, plus u, the v, all over the x. Now, in this question, our u, let's say u, let u be equal to sine inverse of x, and v be equal to ln 2x square. Now, this is an inverse trigonometry function. Why this is a logarithmic function? And in our previous classes, we have actually seen the derivative of uh, uh, inverse trigonometry functions and also logarithmic functions. Now, let's look at the u all over the x. Now, the u all over the x, when you differentiate sine inverse of x, it gives 1 all over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Yes, that's the u all over the x. And the v all over the x. Now, because this is a function of function, now it means when you differentiate this, you have 1 all over 2x squared. Then you multiply by the derivative of this function. And of course, when you differentiate 2x squared, it gives you 4x. So it therefore means that the v all over the x will be equal to 4x all over 2x squared. Now, 4 divided by 2, 2 here is 1, 2 into 4 is 2. x here is 1, x into x squared is x. So here we have 2 all over x. Now, that is the value of the v all over the x. Now, going by the product rule, that the y all over the x is equal to v, the u all over the x, plus u, the v all over the x, it means that in this question, y is equal to sine inverse of x and ln 2x square, the y all over the x will be equal to, you pick v. I remember here we said, let v be equal to ln 2x square. So it means we have ln 2x square, then times. We have the u all over the x. So you go to the u all over the x. The u all over the x is 1 all over. We have 1 all over the square root of 1 minus x square. Then we have plus. Now we go to u. And remember the value of our u is sine inverse of x. So it means here we have sine inverse of x. Then now you go to the v all over the x. The v the x. And the v all over the x is 2 all over x. So here we have 2 all over x. So it therefore means that the y all over the x will be equal to, we have 1 all over the square root of 1 minus x square, ln 2x square, plus 2 all over x, then sine inverse of x. So that is the value of our dy all over the x. Now we're going to take another example. Now let's look at this. Let's call this example 3. Example 3. Now if y is equal to x power 3, e raised to the power of 2x, tan x. And here we are asked to find the y all over the x. Now, if you look at this example, we have just two functions, u and v. u and v. Now, we're, what we're trying to say here is that the product rule can also be applied when you have more than two functions. Here you have one, two, three functions of x. So I can decide to say here, let u be equal to x power 3, then e power 2x. Now, I'm tying these two functions to u. Yes, x power 3 
and e raised to the power of 2x to be equal to u and our v be equal to tan x yes so i'm taking you i'm using i'm picking you to be equal to x power 3 and e power 2x and the value of our v to be equal to tan x so in the same vein if you have more than two functions you can group two or more functions as u and the other functions as v so now in this case let's look at the u all over the x the u all over the x now in differentiating this i will use the product rule yes i will use the product rule so if you look at the product rule we said the y all over the x is equal to v the u all over the x plus u the v all over the x so it means first let's pick the value of v our v here is e raised to the power of 2x okay now in this particular case yes you pick this you differentiate this this then you differentiate this so now we have e power 2x now you differentiate x power 3 that will be 3x squared plus you pick this one now x raised to the power of 3 you differentiate e power 2x that will give us 2e raised to the power of 2x yes i don't want to be calling v the e again because already we have said v to be equal to this and u to be equal to this but let's know that here we have two functions okay so here we have the u all over the x the u all over the x will be equal to 3e e raised to the power of 2x then here we have x squared plus here we have 2e e raised to the power of 2x and we have x raised to the power of 3. now that's the u all over the x now let's see the v all over the x the v all over the x when you differentiate an x it gives you sec square x yes that's the derivative of tan x the standard derivative of tan x is sec square x now it therefore means that applying the product rule the y all over the x to be equal to v the u all over the x plus u the v all over the x now let's pick the value of our v now remember we said let v be equal to tan x so it means we are going to pick tan x the y all over the x will be equal to yes we're going to pick tan x which is our v you pick it tan x tan x then you bring the value of the u all over the x the u all over the x gave us the whole of this so here we have 3 e power 2 x x is to the power of 2 plus 2 e is to the power of 2 x x raised to the power of 3 plus yes this plus look at it there plus then let's pick the value of our u our u is x raised to the power of 3 and we have e raised to the power of 2x in brackets now the v all over the x the v all over the x is sec square x so it means here we have sec square x so it therefore means that the y all over the x, the y all over the x will be equal to, when you multiply the whole of this, you have 3 e raised to the power of 2x, we have x raised to the power of 2, and we have tan x, tan x plus, here we have 2 e raised to the power of 2x, 2x, we have x raised to the power of 3, then we have tan x, tan x, plus here we have x raised to the power of 3 x raised to the power of 3 e raised to the power of 2x then we have sec square x now if you look at the whole of this function we'll discover that here x square is common there's x square here there's x power 3 here and there is x power 3 here so it therefore means that x square is common to the whole of the function and e raised to the power of 2x is also common. We have e power 2x. We also have e power 2x. So it means the y all over the x. The y all over the x will be equal to. We have e raised to the power of 2x. We have x raised to the power of 2 in brackets. So here we'll be left with 3. Because this e power 2x is out. x squared is out. So we have 3 left. Then we have tan x plus here e power 2 x is out out of this x power 3 x squared is out so we have 2 x left then we have tan x 
plus e power 2x is out, x power 2 is out. So here we have x left, then we have sec square x. So it therefore means that the value of the y all over the x is equal to a power 2x, x square in bracket 3 tan x plus 2x tan x plus x sec square x. Thank you for listening. So now this particular question, we are still going to use the logarithmic function to differentiate this. Okay, so that we'll compare if the result will actually give us the same value with this. So now, please watch out for the logarithmic function of this particular function or using the logarithmic function to differentiate this function that involves three functions of x. Thank you.